This video looks at substitution. You're told four values, A, B, C and D, and we've got to work out the value of these four expressions down here. Now the trick to substitution is to write out the same expression but with the values placed inside it. So, for example, A, B. This equals, well, A is 5, B is 2. So 5, 2. And when they're adjacent to each other, this just means times. So it means 5 times 2. And 5 times 2 just equals 10. So for the second one, there are now three terms involved. So again, we write out the entire thing. So B equals 2. Now A, that's 5. Now we now take away but d is minus 5 and then we have to put an over 4 now then the next thing is to work out the brackets first now two minuses become positive so 2 5 plus 5 over 4 now work out the bracket 2 bracket 10 over 4 Work out the numerator. 2 times 10 is 20 over 4. And that's how many 4s in 20? The answer is 5. This is quite a standard question where one of the values is negative and you're taking it away. So be careful. Two negatives go positive. OK, the third one, 5a squared. Be very, very careful. Write out the expression again with a equal to 5, put it in brackets and square it. Now then, it is important we do the square part first. We don't do 5 times a, we do a squared. For help on this, I will be doing a video on bid mass, which tells us about the operation and order operations and calculations. Now 5 squared is 25, so it's 5 lots of 25. So 5 squared 25. 5 times 25 is then 125. Now the fourth one brings out two quite important facts. First of all it's d squared. Now d was minus 5, so it's minus 5 squared. I always use brackets when there's powers involved. Plus 7.2 lots of c. Now then, minus 5 squared, that's minus 5 times minus 5. Minus 5 times minus 5 is plus 25. When we square a negative, it becomes positive. And 7.2 times 0 is 0. So it's 25 plus 0, which equals 25. 